Hey gamers, this is Dean with Game Time right here about to play the early build for a space action game called Dolman. This game is being published by Prime Matter and this build is an exclusive access. I've already gone through a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and have a clean slate starting out so that we can show off all the great stuff that this game has to offer right off the bat. So, here we go, let's just get right into it. Dolmen is a crystal whose radiation has interdimensional properties. It makes the membranes that separate universes thinner, making different realities collide. An interdimensional rift appeared at the mining station in Revion Prime. The entire installation was infested by creatures and who knows what else. We need to contain the effects of this catastrophe before it's too late. Your mission is to go to the mining station in Revion Prime, exterminate the creatures, and bring back samples and crystals so we can study ways to contain future incidents. You will be teleported to the station. We will provide tactical support, but once inside the station, you will be on your own. Due to interference, the teleportation will be turbulent. We count on you to contain this crisis. Preparing to teleport in three, two, one. Welcome to Revion Prime. Commander, come in. What happened? Something interfered with the teleport. I've never seen readings like this. Are you sure I'm in the right place? If I'm reading it right, you're on the disposal area. Keep us informed on your progress. Alright, so right off the bat, you get your movement controls, you can look around and everything, and you see these green circles, or these red circles. These red circles are little tutorial things that tell you how to do some of the controls. So this one's going over healing, so as you see my red bar up top has no health, so if I press R right now, it eats some of the blue bar, and then it heals me as well. So, and then this one's showing how to do some basic attacks, which is just the use of your mouse. You can also break things in crates so that you get items sometimes, not all the time though. This one's showing a lock-on so that you know how to uh, tag the enemy that you want to fight specifically. So let's go ahead and beat this first enemy. A couple light attacks because it has low health already. Right, and then right into this, it goes into the block as we are going to face another enemy that is going to be attacking us right away. So we can see how the block works. And there it is. The block was effective enough that we did not lose any health. All right, and then right here. We're going to see the next one, which is the battery use. So what this will do is we press 4, it will consume a battery, and we will get some of that blue bar back. That blue bar is, as you saw, for us to recharge our health, but it also has a second use that we'll get into pretty soon here. Ooh. Didn't land that last hit before he got his chance to attack. Alright, so here we're going to see what the blue bar also can provide, which is the power to do these shots. Whenever you hold control, you can shoot. Now, as you see, it takes off the blue bar, but the blue bar that it's using can be regenerated. So as long as you have that blue bar there, using your gun isn't going to make you lose the actual blue bar's power. Only consuming it to get your health up is what will make it. I'll send a signal. See if you can sink. Decoding now. All right, here's our first beacon. As you see, the beacons give us the option to teleport the ship or teleport likely to other locations. This is our first beacon, so we can't really do anything just yet, so we're going to have to keep going. So, let's move on to the next area here. So, as you saw, we fought some spiders. So, this is going to be our first area where we have to face off different enemies. And because you see those eggs, and you know how spiders come from eggs, so you can presume that there's going to be multiple enemies here. Now, this game can be quite punishing really quickly. So, I'm just going to let you watch some gameplay as I go through this hallway and clear it off as much as I can.
Here we go. I let the blue bar recharge and we'll go ahead and say again as you see this guy has actually more health than the previous ones I visually can't see what makes them different from the other ones but obviously they are slightly harder to kill because they have more health these white orbs are items that you can collect so make sure you look out for those whenever you break the boxes if you see a white orb pop out that's how you know that uh, an item came out of it Here's another spider. It's already taken some damage because we hit it out of the egg. There we go. Wow. There should be another one somewhere around here. I don't want to get ambushed. That happens very quickly. So. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay, a power strike. I didn't mean to hit that. Hopefully I can still avoid taking damage here. Okay. So that's the power strike, and the thing that it was telling me I could do is basically I could do this. So that I do way more damage. Alright, so that was not a smart move. As you see, I took a bunch of health damage off of that one, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. You always want to shoot these eggs so you don't get covered in this slime stuff. Alright. So while the shots, as you see, sometimes do the triple shot, that's not that doesn't happen every time. It's kind of like a build-up that has to happen as you do damage. So that, and that can also happen with your power shot as well. Alright, so here's a really interesting scene. Let's just watch. scene shows us a glimpse into what happened here why it looks like so chaotic but at the same time it's kind of a glimpse of what we could possibly run into where we're likely gonna fight bosses just like that in the future so be ready for that type of action and hopefully we can get as strong as that guy that we just witnessed through that double sword strike that was pretty cool so here we have the reactor option this is where you press F and you can put a shield on the reason it tells you this here is because this is actually an ambush area you can actually see the spiders everywhere I'm actually gonna just Play it a little safe again and clear the area instead.
but that ambush area actually gets pretty overwhelming really fast, even with the reactor option that they give you there. So we're going to use that reactor a little bit later on a harder enemy. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to come over here and collect your goods that you got from these guys and drop. You'll find two more. Oh, one more enemy. Alright. And then you'll come over here and it'll be like, oh no, I can't get through. So when you call, try and call it, the elevator's locked, so we gotta go to another floor. Alright. So we're gonna find the next pathway that we're gonna go to. And this will take us back to this main pathway over here. We'll collect this one item thing over here, break this chest, see if there's anything good in there. Nothing in there. Grab that. Alright, and then we're gonna take this main pathway back up. This will actually take us up a different direction, so we'll have more enemies, of course. Alright, well he fell, I'm just gonna let him be on the ground. Alright, here we are. Apply different elements to your enemies. So as you see, this weapon currently does frost, and that slows them down. Uh, eventually we'll have more... I think I healed just before I saw him. Oh man, this is getting close. Let's get some battery in. So I still have four batteries. We're gonna go ahead and consume that. And uh, there we go. So we're gonna keep moving this way. and take care of this egg here. And basically what we're looking for right now is a checkpoint or a system that will take us to the area that we need to go, you know, like the elevator that we need to unblock. So. We're gonna have to fight our way there. We're gonna play a little safe, we're a little low on battery, so. As you saw how punishing just two spiders that get overwhelming can get, so. We're gonna play it safe, fight our way up, and then see how it goes. managed right. to synchronize the signal with Zone Starship. This driller is a VIP. He helped us bypass the interference. I will teleport him to the ship. Now you can use beacons to teleport to the ship. Great. Alright, so here we have our second beacon. And it's going to take us to the ship where we'll get to see our hub. When we go to the hub, it'll refresh our items, our health, our batteries, our battery consumption amount, everything gets refreshed for us when we get here. And then the other things we can do here is a little bit of customization stuff. So you can see some of these suits here. I imagine they are all different types of suits that we'll eventually get to wear. You can come here, customize yourself. If you want one full outfit color, you can use that to do it here. Or if you want to do specific colors for specific pieces. That's also an option that you have available to you. I personally like to have one big look. That's the closest to game time green that we can get. And so we're just going to use that like we've been using this whole time. 
if we go into the other side, here we have uh, some more options here. So this will be our crafting table. Uh, right now we can't really craft anything because we only collected so many items. Uh, looks like we can get a tier 1 driller gauntlet. Look at that. So let's try and craft that real quick. So, may I confirm? crafting we have this eye here this looks a lot like the dead space stasis but it's and just like that it's a place that we can upgrade uh, so here we have our stats that we can use and these are our points down here the nanites so we're gonna go ahead and raise our health two notches and let's go with some strength so our melee is a little better so as you saw we used up a lot of our points we do a little bit more damage we can handle a little bit more damage but we are out of points, we can no longer upgrade anything, so this will be the maximum we can do. You hit enter, hit the upgrade, and just like that, our stats are upgraded. So as you get kills, you can use that to uh, upgrade your suit. On the top right there, you can see the nanites is that number there. Though we'll currently have 186 nanites. And one of the main crystals. Here's the guy that we just saved. Alright, looks like he's given us some items for saving him, which is pretty neat. I imagine we'll be saving a lot more people as the game goes along. It looks like there's going to be some multiplayer, and then you can refight some bosses if you'd like. So, there's going to be some option to earn extra nanites and possibly crystals, play with friends. And I'm looking forward to that. There's kind of like a sleeping chamber. I think this is more... Uh, aesthetic cosmetic right now uh, same thing with the other side which is actually the uh, control chamber where you can you know see everything that's in uh, that they use to control the ship that we're on so what we're gonna do is go back down and we're gonna go ahead and get back into the action so you just come back over here interact and then teleport to the dump that's where we just were Alright, so it's going to put us right back where that beacon was that we loaded out from, and we basically just got to keep moving forward. So, our mission was basically to get that elevator working right now so that we have an easy way up and down. So, we got to keep going up. And here's some enemies, so let's go ahead and fight our way through and see what's inside the chamber. So here we're going to have some new enemies that aren't just the spiders, these guys are a bit of a pain, but what we're going to do is run straight to the chamber that we need to go to. So here's our elevator, this is what's been stopping it, so we break this down and now we can take that elevator if we want to, and then we're going to go into here, this is where we need to go right now. And here we have our first encounter with this guy, he spits fireballs, so watch out for that, you can always just sidestep it has another attack that you gotta be ready for. I thought that was gonna hit us. Alright. So his melee is actually pretty devastating as you saw. I just took one hit and that's how much health I had taken off. I had full health from that. I took that hit, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that health back up. Alright, let's get the door open. And we're going to keep going this way. So we still haven't used the reactor yet, which does recharge, but I like to use it on the harder fights. 
which, given how hard these fights have been so far, that tells you how hard this game's gonna get. These are, this is just the second enemy. are definitely not easy especially when you don't have a full charge so we're going to take a battery here get a full charge there so we can use our weapon even more so So there we got to see the triple shot, even with the, with the big blast. So, yeah, that, that fireball did a good chunk of damage there. So, here we are in the hallway. This is actually about the point I stopped before I decided to get this video set up. So, I am interested to see what's next. This room is pretty empty. Looks like there's an item over there. Let's see if I can get up there. Oh, door right, right here. And let's see. One more room. Check oh like a window. Let's check this out. Looks like there's an enemy there. He doesn't look like the other enemies we face, so that's interesting. Alright, let's see how this one goes. Oh, that's the double sword. Let's go with the reactor. It's almost down. There we go. Ooh, that one was a little bit harder. That was that was like a ninja of an enemy. Interesting. Alright, so where do we go? Obviously this has gotta be the way. You had that big old enemy here. Interact here? This is not where we gotta go. Like, why was that guy in here then? We fought our way over here. Was this all just extra? here. Seems over here. Is that another beacon? Interesting. So we can get a reset. It'll be a little bit of a load screen, but oh look at this. There's item back. Oh Jesus. There's a okay, it's a person. Thank you. Oh. Nice. Uh, drill Luca. Alright. You're not gonna come back? Alright, 
Let's go back and get uh, everything recharged for ourselves. So you can activate it. And let's get everything recharged and then come back into the level. Save you the load time of going to the ship and back. All I did was go back there to recharge, didn't do anything else. Alright, let's see what's behind this door. I'm getting a signature ahead. What's the threat level? Huge. Bigger than everything you've faced so far. Make sure you're ready and equipped for the challenge. Yeah, I'm about as equipped as I'm gonna get. So, let's see what this is. Uh, in Iraq? Multiplayer? Oh. <laughs> Seems pretty threatening. Alright. Well, let's see this. This looks like a big fight coming up based on the way that they're amping this hallway up. So, I'm in the crate. Oh, I'm back in here. I've been in here before. Why'd they amp this place up? I've been here before. Alright, gonna go up. back on the ship I think it's a good time to call it so this is definitely an awesome first look at the game definitely a pretty challenging game I look forward to seeing what more it has to offer uh, so my full first impression will be written up and then posted on GameTyrant.com you can find it there and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed so if you like space action games and this seemed interesting to you make sure you keep Dolman on your radar Take care, guys.